So if you think you're having a heart attack, the most logical thing to do is call 911. And we've been advocating that even people who live close to the hospital don't try to drive themselves to the hospital. They call 911. And the reason is the logistics. We have now established a program in our county, and these programs exist in most counties in our country, where the paramedics, when they reach the patient, they do an EKG, and those, that EKG can actually activate the system in the hospital that would actually take care of patients. So for example, if we had a patient who had a heart attack shown on an EKG in our community, by the time the patient reaches the hospital, the hospital has already called a cardiologist like myself, a cardiac catheterization team, the emergency room, bed is ready. Uh, so it saves the time on the back end. And by the time the patient reaches here, the system designed to take care of him is already in motion. If you drive to the hospital, the, that system sets in motion after the patient, you reach the hospital and your problem is identified. So on the back end, you lost time. Not only that, cardiac arrest a, are not uncommon in people with heart attacks is a very unpleasant thing to happen if you're driving your loved one to the hospital and somebody has a cardiac arrest in the room. And it's not something that we haven't seen. So if you think you're having a heart attack, call 911. Number two, if you have an opportunity and you're alone, open the door so that paramedics can reach you. Um, if you stay by the, by the phone, chew two tablets of aspirin and um, get ready to go to the hospital. Do not fight and try to say, maybe it's just my indigestion. And the reason is the key important thing in heart attack care is the speed with which the care is provided. And it's very simple. Uh, heart attack is caused by a blocked artery. The damage starts the moment the artery is blocked and then progressive, progresses through the heart muscle like a wildfire in a forest. Faster you put it out, less trees get burnt. Simple. We know that faster we open up the artery, less damage to the heart muscle, less damage, less risk of going into congestive heart failure, less need for all the things that we do not like for heart attacks. The difference of responding to heart attack fast versus slow could make a difference between somebody who recovers to become an athlete despite having a heart attack versus somebody who becomes a cardiac cripple. We know which option is good for us. So if you think you're having a heart attack, call 911, chew two tablets of aspirin, and get to the hospital.